Yo, peace, what's up, y'all? Big Mike checking in, Real Talk TV. Hope you guys are having a blessed day and thank you for watching the video, I appreciate it. Hey, shout out to all the subs, man. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank y'all for liking the videos and leaving comments. Letting me know how much y'all appreciate the content, man. You guys mean more to me than y'all really know, man. I appreciate you guys and love you guys for that, man, for real. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button right there at the bottom right corner. Don't forget to hit that bell icon, hit that like button. Hit me up in the comments and also share the video. Also, if you would like to support the channel via memberships or donations, the description for that is down below. It's not required, but greatly appreciate it. And like I always say, the more y'all do for me, the more I can do for you guys, man. Appreciate y'all, all right? So let's get into the topic, man. You know, I don't get too upset that easily for the most part. I got a pretty long fuse for the most part. You know, but... Um, I wouldn't say it angers me, it doesn't anger me, but it, it annoys me when I drop content that's from the heart, things I've seen with my own eyes in 40 years of life, things I cannot make up, that I don't make up and I won't make up. I speak on what I've seen, what I've been through myself, and for me to post certain things, for example, that video I made some months ago about coworkers not being your friends. For the most part, I got a lot of excellent feedback on that channel. A lot of folks agreed. And I don't expect everyone to agree with everything I say. I do not expect that at all. Let's make that clear. I don't expect it. Neither do I care if everyone agrees. I understand that when you get on the plat uh, platform, like YouTube, you're gonna have some people that troll, you're gonna have some people that says, oh, you capping, you lying, and all this other stuff, and talking kind of crazy. I get all of that. I'm a grown man, I'm a big boy, I can handle that. But it still annoys me that some folks wanna sit here and argue with me about my 40 years of experience. There's some of y'all that are a lot younger than me, perhaps some of y'all that's older than me watching my videos. I appreciate each and every single one of y'all who watch. But do not for one second tell me that I come on this platform to make stuff up. You understand that? I have better things to do with my time than to waste my time on video making things up. I don't got time for that. I got better things to do. So when I say the things I say, that did not come from out of thin air. It comes from a real place. Where I'm going with that is some of you guys are so naive and so gullible to think that everyone is your friend. And God bless you if you have a large group of friends that everybody, you know, parades through the lily, lily fields and eats peaches and ice cream every day and y'all just one old big old happy family. Blessings to y'all. Most of us though, we know that is not how life really works or typically works, let me put it that way. You better be careful who you call your friend, man. Friend is an overused term nowadays. A lot of y'all are so quick to call folks y'all friend and then when you get stabbed in the back, you wonder where it came from. How could it have happened to you? I had a guy in my comment section not too long ago, a few days ago rather, that was like, oh, me and my friends, uh, I know they're my real friends because we hang out on the weekends, every weekend, and we drink and smoke weed together and all this other stuff. It's like, that's a friend of you? Just because y'all enjoy some alcohol and weed on the weekends? That's your friend? That's your friend? Okay. If you wanna know if that's really your friend or not, Tell them that you're abstaining from that lifestyle and see if they really stick with you. And then you'll find out if you really got a friend. Then you'll know. Tell them that you're going to quit smoking or you're going to quit drinking. You're going to focus on your goals and your dreams and put away the foolish things for a little while and see if they still stick by you. If they do, then you have some real ones. I cannot tell you guys how many times in my life that when I decided to do better, the folks who I was doing dirt with back in the day, 
turn their back on me. Now, I still have friends, don't get me wrong, but very few friends. I got a lot of acquaintances, a lot of associates, but I'm very careful who I call my friend. My grandmother, when I was a little boy, she used to always tell me that when I used to go and be in a rush to hang out with those guys in the streets. She used to always tell me, son, those guys ain't your friends. You think that now, but you will see as life goes on. You're gonna see who's really your friends. I'm not telling you guys to not have friends, to be lonely, or now that, I, now that am I advocating negativity on my channel or preaching negativity on my channel. Not at all. I'm only telling you guys to be careful. That's it. Do you know how many so-called friends of people that I have known that did them dirty, that snitched on them and now they're still doing time or maybe just got out of prison, got killed? Their so-called friend screwed their girlfriend, screwed their wife, cost them their job. And these were friends. These were friends. So they thought. How many times people in my life have done me dirty that I've been nothing but good to, that I thought were my friends? I'm not gonna get on here and tell y'all a bunch of BS. I'm telling y'all it was real. Be careful who you have in your circle. The great Jesus Christ himself, our Lord and Savior, he said in the word, have I not chosen you 12 and one of you is a devil. Judas, the one who betrayed him. Y'all know the story. Those of y'all who ever read the Bible or been to church, y'all know the story. If it can happen to Jesus, what we'll make you think it cannot happen to you? Everybody's your friend, huh? Everybody's your buddy. Y'all all get along and sing and drink and dance on the weekends. That's cool. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But like I say, if you really believe you got friends, put them to the test. Just because y'all laugh and dance and drink and smoke, whatever it is y'all do, go run the streets together, chase dudes, chase women. Just because y'all do that on the weekends and y'all all enjoy the same activity does not mean they're your friends. Do they show up when you need them most? When you're low on money, when your car breaks down, when you're about to lose your apartment or your house. That's when you know who your friends are, man. That's all I'm trying to tell y'all. It's not about being negative. It's about being realistic in this game of life. That's what I talk about. I give y'all the real. And that's always how I'm going to give it to y'all. Every time I step on this platform, I'm not going to give y'all nothing less. A lot of y'all got stories like that. Y'all have had friends that stab you in the back. And you want to sit there, so not you <laughs> watching, but I'm saying a lot of you guys who get in my comment section saying, oh, everyone's at, everyone at work is my friend. That very well may be the case. I'm not going to say hey and doubt you. I don't know you. I don't know your life. I don't know your circle of people that you hang around with. I don't know that. Anything about these people. But from my experience, I've seen a lot of so-called friends at work stab their so-called friends in the back to get ahead. I'm in the military and I'm not speaking bad on the military. That's my profession. But the people that I've served with and around, I've seen a lot of, for the lack of a better term, fuckery. I've seen a lot of it. I've seen a lot of so-called friends screw their boy's girl. Screwed their boy's wife. Sold them out for the sake of getting a better eval. Seen a lot of that. When that guy walks out of the room, their so-called friend talking bad about him behind their back. Seen a lot of that. And again, I'm telling you guys to not be antisocial. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying to not have friends. I'm not saying to not enjoy life and those around you. All I'm telling you is have discernment. 
because not everyone has their best interest at heart like you think they do. That's all I'm saying. Or the females. How many so-called friends that they thought they had who when they let their guard down, drinking too much, they got sexually assaulted. God bless them. It happens. I've seen a lot of crazy stuff in my life, man. A lot. And <laughs> I, I just can't, I just can't with some of y'all. I just can't. You know, just because you've not had a bad experience. And if you have not had a bad experience, like I just like uh, mentioned just now, good for you. Good for you. But before y'all quick to call people your friends, which to me is an overused term. Yeah, you might have acquaintances, you might have associates, but in my humble opinion, some of y'all may agree, some of y'all may not agree. Friend is an intimate term. That means you know more about me than the average person. You are basically my family if I call you a friend. You're my family. I can call you any time of night, let you know what's going on in my life and can trust you with that information. That you're not gonna spill my secrets. That if I need you at my darkest hour, you're gonna be there. You can be relied upon. Just because we laugh and we may joke around a little bit, whether it's at work or no matter where it's at, that don't make you friends necessarily. It doesn't. If you wanna know who your friends are, see who they are at your darkest hour. Not when everything's going well. Anybody can be around for that. When you got plenty of money, when your car's full of gas, when, you know, everything seems to be clicking on all cylinders. I mean, yeah. The Bible also says the rich people have many friends. What happens when they go broke? Y'all seen the story plenty of times. Perfect example, Mike Tyson. When he was at the top of his game back in the day when he was heavyweight champ and making all the millions of dollars how many folks he had around him all them leeches around him so called friends around him when he fell off after he retired from boxing thank god he's in a better place now but when he fell off after boxing where was all those people at like I just gave y'all the example of Jesus Christ when he said have I not chosen you 12 and one is a devil None of us are greater than Jesus Christ. He said, if it happened to him, it surely can happen to us. The servant is not greater than his master. If they did these things to me, they will most certainly do them to you. All I'm telling you guys, be careful who you call your friends. Now, Getting back to the whole uh, thing about the at work to, at work situation. You guys say, well, all my friends are at my job. I met a lot of friends at my job. And great, Gr good for you. Again, I applaud you. I applaud you. But do you believe, let me ask y'all a question. Those of y'all who said that, let me ask you a question, serious question. Do you believe that if their job was on the line that they would risk it for you? Do they defend you in your absence when other coworkers are bad mouthing you, talking down on you, laughing at you, saying all kind of reckless crap about you? Do they stand up for you and defend you? That's how you know that they're your friend. And I'm not saying you don't have friends. I'm just saying a lot of y'all do not have the friends y'all think y'all do. Can you trust that friend around your wife when you're not around? And he know, he know he ain't gonna try nothing. That woman around your man, when you're not around, and she's not gonna try nothing. Now, I wouldn't even advise that. I don't care how much I'm giving friends y'all are, but I'm just using that as an example. Would you trust him that much? And I had some veterans, some military veterans who said, 
you know, they were in combat and those guys who they served with are their brothers. Now, hey, listen, man, you guys are exempt. I get that. Blessings to y'all. If you ever been in combat with somebody who you had to rely on for your life, your life was literally in their hands and their life is in your hands. That's a bond I cannot understand. I've never been in combat, but I've seen a lot. And to those of y'all who say, oh, you're in the military, all these guys are your brothers. No, the hell they not. We work together. We got a good working relationship, some of us. But they ain't my brothers. They ain't my best friends just because we serve in the same branch together. No. A lot of them will step on you to get ahead. I've seen it too many times. A lot of them, as soon as you walk out of a room, they talk down in your name. Especially if you're the one who's performing the best. They're after you. They want your spot. Just because we enjoy some drinks on the weekends or whatever the case is. Every once in a while. That don't make us best friends. So those of y'all who say that, oh, you in the military, you guys should be like brothers and blah, 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 blah. Man, get the hell out of here. That's not the case at all. I've met friends in the military, yes. But not all of them are my brothers. Now, I will do my job. My job description entails me defending them if I have to. That's my job. I have to do that. But at the end of the day, that does not make us best friends. I'm doing my job. And I'll always do my job. Let me tell you something, man. At the end of the day, most people are going to be in it for themselves. They will take care of themselves before they take care of you. A friend, if they're really a friend, if it means losing you or losing whatever it is that they hold on to, to, uh, to so tight, a lot of them will sacrifice that to not betray you and to backstab you. If you got one of them, then you got a real friend. Hey, that's all I got to say on the topic, man. Again, I'm not a negative person. <laughs> Please, far from it. I'm just a realist. I've seen it over and over and over again. And ain't nobody gonna come in my comment section and tell me that I'm full of it and I know what I've seen. I am not a naive, stupid person. Far from that. And those of you guys who cannot relate, those of you guys who got great friends and you have a great life, hey man, again, I applaud you. I applaud you. A lot of us know, however, that's not the case. Be careful who you call your friend. Be wise. That's all I'm saying. Before you call people your friend, test them. Test their spirit. Test their motives. Test their mentality. Observe their habits. Because your friends have a huge impact on your character, how you're shaped, how you develop, and what happens in your life. Who you allow in your life has a huge impact on how your life turns out. That's all I'm trying to tell y'all, man. But anyway, that's all I got in the video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, hit, do me a favor, hit that like button. Don't forget to hit me up in the comments if you got anything to share with me in regard to the topic. Also, do not forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, all right? Hey, until next time, you guys take care and be blessed, man. It's your big brother, Big Mike, checking out, man. Peace.